We've all heard of the great Clive Churchill, but have you ever seen him play? Well, there's not many clips. Most of his career was played pre-1955, but here's a few we've managed to dig out. You'll see him in the number one jersey. That very night, it was announced that Clive Churchill would captain the Australian team. Played by bad weather, the first test was played on the SCG pitch that was ended. The crowd of 45,000 was to witness a contest as stirring and as close as any in football history. And not surprising, but in increasing news, 15 minutes from the end came the decisive. The crowd goes wild. Players, fans and officials dance in the mud and Captain Churchill is chaired from the field. But then a Kiwi turnaround. They won the next two tests to take the series. Critics were unenthusiastic about the chances of the 52 kangaroos as they left for England. 80s reflected fondly on that tour. Of course, um, being captain, I was only 23, you know, and taking the team to England was one of the best things I've ever had. The Australian team, captained by Clive Churchill, rated themselves unlucky to lose the Test Series against New Zealand. They won seven matches of the nine games on the Kiwi campaign, but lost the first two Tests before taking the third in Auckland 1816. The deciding third Test, seven days later, was devoid of the thuggery that had shamed Rugby League and turned out to be a magnificent contest. A Gradian Williams tries had Australia trailing 8 0 but Churchill and Wells combined to send Brisbane's Alex Watson racing for the line. Minutes later, the verse had crossed, and then after the break, Wells scored a disputed try before setting up one for putting out wide, who later found himself. So it was back to the wall again for the drawing team. They did manage to repel most of Australia's race. And they would just come again themselves like the old wooden In a similar move, Australia took the game right out of Britain's reach. One man was held just short of the line. This was the age of the kicking duels between rival fullbacks. Here, Lewis Jones and Clive Churchill just keep pumping the ball to one another. Never mind about the other 24 players. Why not have our own game? And so it went on and on and on until someone managed to intervene. That little battle over his test record with 20 points, all from his right boot. Boston gets another try, there's one for Jerry Helm as well. The Aussies are shattered, although they do can up a fine score. Clive Churchill is catching genius pointed the way, and a good bout of passing ends with Keith Holman getting the touchdown. In a thrilling and tight encounter, 20 points to 16. Another triumph for skipper Clive Churchill. Churchill was chosen as captain for Rugby League's first World Cup in 1954. For the Aussies, it was an unsuccessful campaign. The final, played at Lyon, was won by the Dave Valentine led Great Britain over France. South's epic clash with Manly is remembered for Clive Churchill's heroism soldiering on under excruciating pain with a broken wrist and then at the end the task of converting Chicka Cowie's try. That fabulous goal from wide out broke the deadlock. The miracle of 55 climaxed on grand final day when the Rabbitohs triumphed by a point over a gutsy Newtown.